Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new tutorial. This one is going to be how to install Node Red on Ubuntu, uh, specifically Ubuntu Server 1604, but it should work on just standard Ubuntu desktop as well. I've been hearing a lot about Node Red lately and how you can use it uh, in conjunction with Home Assistant for automations. So I thought I'd do a video on how you can install Node Red on Ubuntu. So at least get you started and then maybe we can do a follow-up video in a few weeks and kind of show more in depth how you can use Node Red with Home Assistant. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So for starters, you know, as always, I like to make sure my system is up to date. Uh, once we do that, we're going to install some prerequisites, uh, Node.js and NPM. Once we have those installed, then we're ready to install Node Red. Um, after we uh, install it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, configure it Node Red as a service so it'll automatically start. After we do that, we'll add a little bit of security in there by setting up a username and password for Node Red. And then lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like. So let's get started. So like I said, I want to start the video off by making sure my system was up to date. So of course I do that by doing a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get upgrade. And of course it'll take it a minute to run through all this. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through it so you're not waiting around for it to uh, finish. All right, now that updates are finished, we are ready to install our prerequisites. Uh, so of course we're gonna start by uh, installing Node.js. So we'll do a sudo apt-get install Node.js-legacy. And it should install pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and make sure it installed properly. We're just gonna check the version. So we do that by doing a Node-v and it should come back with our version number. Uh, and of course, in order to uh, use Node.js with Node Red, of course, we're going to have to install a packet manager, which is npm. So we're going to do a sudo apt-get install npm. And I'll fast forward through this npm install because it'll take a little while to uh, finish. Uh, once npm is installed, let's go ahead and check the version on that as well to make sure it installed properly. So we do that by doing a npm-v. Now that we got our prerequisites installed, we are ready to install Node Red. So we're going to do that by doing a sudo npm install dash g dash dash unsafe dash perm. And then of course it's node red and node red admin. And I'll put all that in the description so you can just copy and paste it. We'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, so once node red finishes installing, it uses port 1880 as its default port. And so we need to allow that. So we're gonna do that by doing a sudo ufw allow 1880 all right everything updated so let's go ahead and start node red just to show you that uh, you can actually start it from the command line and this will tell us if it's working properly or not so just type in node dash red and as you can see here uh, it's filling up my command line we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the web front end and try to access it so we can see what it looks like uh, so I have mine running on, uh, let's see, 10.10.10.248. Uh, we'll go ahead and put in the port number 1880. And there it is, Node Red is up and running. And of course you can start adding flows and setting all that up. Not gonna do that just yet, uh, but again, just wanted to show you that it currently is working. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the command line. 
So we're going to set up Node Red uh, as a service so that it'll automatically start whenever we turn the machine on. So we do this by creating a service file. So we'll do a sudo vi etsy systemd system. And then I'm just going to call mine node red.service. I'll put all that in the description along with all everything I'm going to put in this uh, service file here. But we'll just do a quick run through on it here. We got uh, the description. We're going to call it node red. After equals, and I'm just going to say network.target. Uh, service. Type will be simple. Exec start. So this will be the path to that uh, node red pi file. So we'll do a user local bin node dash red dash pi. We're going to do a dash dash max dash old dash space dash size equals 128. And we're going to go ahead and do a dash v for verbose. We'll go ahead and set the restart to be on uh, failure. Uh, of course, the kill signal will be sig int. All right, so the working directory, I'm just going to run it out of my home directory. So I'll do a slash home slash Adrian. That's the name of the username that I have on this server. Uh, user equals Adrian. All right, so under install, we're going to do wanted by equals multi-user.target. Once we have all that in there, we're gonna save that. And let's go ahead and enable our service. Uh, so we'll start by doing a sudo systemctl daemon-reload. sudo systemctl enable node-red.service. sudo systemctl start node-red.service. And then let's go ahead and check the status on that. So we're going to do a sudo systemctl status node-red.service. And of course, as you can see there, active, running, everything looks good. So we are good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and add a little bit of security to our uh, node red system here. We're going to go ahead and add a username and password. Uh, so we're going to start by doing a node-red-admin, and then we're going to do hash-pw. Uh, this will basically create a hash for our password. So you're going to type in the password you want to use there. It's going to give you a hash. We're going to copy that. And now we are going to edit uh, some settings here where we put in this hashed password. So it's in our home directory. We're going to do a sudo vi uh, tilde slash dot node dash red slash settings dot js. So we'll open this up and we're looking for a specific section here. So we're just going to search for admin off. And there it is. We're going to uncomment it. Take out all these comments here. And you can change the username you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at admin, but you can set it to whatever you want. Now here where it says password, we're going to delete the current hash that's in there and we're going to paste that one that we just created. Paste that in there. And then we're going to go through and uh, delete the rest of these comments. All right, so now we can go ahead and save this. We'll go ahead and do a um, restart of our node red service to make sure everything uh, is working correctly now. So we'll do a sudo systemctl restart node-red.service.
All right, so let's go ahead and pull up our web front end again and see if we can get logged in with our new username and password. So here we are at the Node Red uh, main page here. As you can see, it's now prompting us for a username and password, which is what we just set up. Uh, so of course I left my username as admin. I'm going to type in my new password. And now we're back at the Node Red main screen here so we can start setting up flows. All right, guys, uh, that is the end of this video. I didn't want to get too in depth with this because I'm still learning no red myself. Uh, so I thought I'd play around with it for a few weeks before I came back with another video and showed you a little bit more in depth how to use it. Uh, but hopefully this at least gets you started and get it installed for you and then you can kind of uh, play around with it and see what you think. If you guys are already running Node Red or uh, if you have any uh, tips or tricks uh, involving Node Red, please send them to me in the comments. Uh, like I said, I'm still kind of new to playing around with it, but I certainly want to learn as much as possible. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started by uh, making sure our system was up to date. Uh, once we did that, we installed our prerequisites, which were Node.js and NPM. Uh, once we had those installed, we were then ready to install Node Red. Uh, once we had Node Red installed, we then configured it as a service so that it would automatically start. After that, we of course uh, set up a little bit of security by setting up a username and password for Node Red. And then, of course, lastly, I just kind of showed you what that looked like logging in for the first time. That is the end of the video, guys. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.